All right, babe, I got a question for you. What? What starts with an E, ends with an E, and only has one letter in it? E. <laughs> Don't know? No. Envelope. <laughs> You don't get it? No. <laughs>
Um, so yeah, a little early morning drive up to St. Petersburg. I Yay. feel like we live up there. <laughs> we discussed the other night, um, Marcy and I, we were just like sitting in the car and I'm like, how many, like, obviously we know all of our doctors, but like, you don't actually like put a number on it. I mean, how many specialists, like outside of like her eye doctor, her like dentist and her pediatrician, how many specialists does she actually see? And I was like shocked. I really didn't know the number. And then he said it out loud and I was like, wow. Um, so I want you to do me a favor. Comment below your guess as to how many specialists she sees. I know we've only touched on just a few in our videos so far, so it'll give you kind of a starting point. But drop a comment below. What is your guess? How many specialists outside of like the three, like I said, dentist, eye doctor and pediatrician, how many specialists does she see? And I would love to know what your thoughts are, what you think, and then I will do a little shout out and whoever won or got the closest, I'll do a shout out for. Alrighty, real quick guys, we just wanted to take a moment to say thank you. It has been incredible, the overwhelming amounts of subscribes that you guys have done in the last like couple days since our last upload we've gotten a lot of like messages on Facebook and Instagram like tell us more share more um, for people that we don't even know and for the first time I actually saw on a post I didn't know either person and they were like oh did you hear about Flint fam like they were like actually like talking about us and it was it was really cool we have like such a unique story with both Olivia and Skylar um and like we just Oh, for so long had like bottled it up really not told anybody like close close family and friends knew some things but like we just kind of remained silent and kept it to just like our cni um and so now like the ball is rolling on sharing our story and we just couldn't be any more excited to share it with you and like we just really appreciate everything that you guys um have done with uh subscribing and with sharing um because without you guys this wouldn't even be possible our story would still just be our story for us to know and not to tell <laughs> so thank you thank you we really appreciate it we are getting that much closer to that starbucks gift card giveaway like let's like make it happen friday i want to give that sucker away so I think we only have like 19 more subscribers to go. So share, 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 guys. We're almost there. waiting to pick the girls up from school today um they got like a really late start we had their appointment this morning well Skylar's appointment this morning um and I'm just like super kind of like down and out um the appointment didn't really go as well as we had anticipated I, I guess I don't know if anticipated would be the word because we kind of in the back of our minds like knew that the surgery talk would come up but I kind of had just been like shoving under the rug I guess so it was still a shock to hear that like that's actually what they want to do um so yeah it kind of was just like bumming me out um so yeah so we did a little retail therapy with my trusty friend uh, and I'm just still like oh it just really bumps me out that I'm we have to like make like a really big decision for her and this is, like, the first time, like, we've had to make a lot of decisions, like, should we do this, should we do that? But they've kind of been, like, more, like, I guess concrete or, like, more black and white. Like, well, you do this, it fixes this. If you do that, it doesn't do that. Like, it's just kind of been, like, very methodically placing things and stuff like that. But this is, like, one that, like, I have to, like, choose a type of surgery, a type of recovery, her long-term, like, oh, I just, I wish she could, like, 
beak one up for a minute and tell me like, hey, this is what I want. <laughs> uh, so dad and I have like a lot to discuss and weigh and like research and I was really irritated. Um, the doctor seemed really like confident and I got good vibes from him and I like pick up vibes like really quickly on people. Um, I either have like a question mark or like an X. It's like either like I need to know nothing more about you. I don't like you or I try to figure you out a little bit more. He seemed great. Um, but the nurse at that office was horrible and like we see a lot of doctors and nurses and I would say probably about 98% of them I couldn't say enough great things about but she today I just wanted to like I don't even know what I wanted to do but she was just so nasty and rude and short and like like lady I just got like handed like here your kid needs surgery you you can't even put like a smile on your face and tell me to have a nice day. She literally or standing at where it says check out. So I'm like waiting to check out. She's sift, like sifting through papers and more or less like ignoring me. Um, and so the girls were kind of like talking and I'm like, hold on, you know, like we have to wait. And she look, looks up from my papers like, you don't need to wait. Like you're done. Like with this like super annoyed demeanor. I'm like, oh, Okay, and, like, I was told when I went to this appointment that I needed to bring all these, like, uh, discs of all of her, like, prior images of, like, the ultrasounds and some of the different tests that we've had um, done so that they had those images as well as the report. So I spent, like, an hour in, like, the medical records department getting, like, all the tests on these discs, making sure that we were, like, prepared for the appointment, like I feel like any sane person would be doing. So I was invested in these discs. So I'm like, can I have, um, like, the discs back? Because they also had some other tests that, um, because I kind of got, like, all of her radiology reports. So some of them um, I need to bring to, like, other places that they had requested as well. And she, like, grabs the discs from the thing. She's like, I guess. And, like, hands them back at me. Like, I had just asked, like, for her to, like, bend over backwards for I'm like, lady not today. Like, I just want to like, ugh. I'm sure I'm not the only person that's ever had like a bad day at a doctor's office, but just this is really annoying when like, especially I'm like, I'm not the patient. So in my position, it's like, I, ugh, it's just so hard to just know that people out there like deal with people like that. And then there's situations that are obviously far worse than ours. And there's situations that are far better than ours, but like, that's your job. You chose to do that. Just put a smile on your dang face and, like, make us at least feel comfortable with the fact that, like, this office, these people are going to be the ones that are going to be dealing with our baby. Like, ugh. Makes me so mad. Tyler, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. How'd you get up there? Um. How'd you get up there? Oop. What's that noise? You dropped my picture. What? <laughs> <laughs>